Hello everyone, welcome back to Mobility Academy. I'm the flexibility guy, Coach Elia. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you a beautiful exercise to work on your side flexion and to improve your side flexion, which is really important. Now, you might ask yourself, why this guy is saying that I need to improve my side flexion and what like side flexion means? Okay guys, we are getting deeper into that i'm going to explain to you why you should improve your side flexion because i i think that it is one of the most important things you need to do if you really want to master your flexibility level but before i start let me ask you to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you'll never miss one of my next videos okay with that said let's start all right guys so as i said during this video i'm gonna show you how to improve your side flexion okay but first of all what does side flexion mean okay so during your daily activities you usually move your spine in different directions okay now you can flex your spine which means that you can close your spine forward like this a crunching movement like like this okay when you do a crunch like abs workouts all, all that stuff you basically bring your your chest closer to your hips this is spine flexion and this is like the most common movement people usually do okay then there is spine extension which consists in bringing your head back opening your chest arching your spine like going back this is not that common but still a movement that most people do in their daily activities now so we have analyzed two movements okay spine flexion spine extension but what if you can move your spine also laterally like this i know that this kind of movement is quite new because in our daily activities we don't need to do that okay we, we don't need to flex our spine laterally if you think about it if you think about that like i need to grab something i go into i need to take something i go into spine flexion i need to uh, I, I don't know i need to touch something behind me i go into spine extension but i don't do that i don't do that okay this is why oftentimes people struggle during spine lateral flexion okay and they have really tight muscles that move the the spine laterally like this because the less you use a muscle the tighter it gets okay so with this exercise i want to show you a way you can start working on that side flexion okay now this is one of my favorite exercises okay and all you need to do with this exercise here is slider a weight yoga blocks as always so now stay with me so what you want to do here is to go in this position here on floor you take the slider under one leg like this you place one yoga block between your leg and your torso and you want to drive your bottom shoulder which is which is this shoulder here forward touching the floor like this okay something like this it's really simple okay you can grab your your foot as well like this okay now from this position you want to take away with the other hand and you want to put the hand on your head like this and from this position here as you can see i want to lean on my bent leg like this can you see like how i'm flexing my spine laterally and i want to stop as soon as i feel the stretch i want to keep my ribs in i don't want to extend my hip, my spine i want to keep my ribs strongly in and i really want to drive my bottom shoulder this shoulder in front of me and pull my top shoulder back this is the stretch 
Now, as you get better during this exercise here, you have the slider under your bent leg, your working leg, and you can really straighten that leg slowly. The more you straighten, the deeper the stretch. Slowly. Now, as you can see, I'm getting deeper and deeper into the stretch, but you need to pay attention to your opposite hip. What I mean with that is that as you go into the stretch, this hip naturally wants to come out the floor, wants to pop out the floor. You wanna keep this hip well pressed against the floor at all times during the stretch. So both hips on the floor, especially your opposite hip, okay? So opposite hip well pressed against the floor like this. Yoga block here, weight here, which is helping you flex your spine more. Here, you can grab this leg or you can grab this leg. It depends. This is the easiest variation, okay? And this is slightly harder, okay? It's the same. Why it is harder? Because with that, as you can see, I'm pulling my bottom shoulder forward more than doing that, okay? So this is the concept, but you need more flexibility here. As, but as you can see, I can work on that because I'm bending my leg more. It really depends on this leg, okay? The more you straighten that leg, as you can see here, I'm straight, I'm completely straightening that leg. I can hold that, but as you can see, it's different than doing that. Now, I wanna suggest you stop wherever you feel the stretch. Wherever you feel the stretch, keep your chest in, move your spine like laterally, and stop there. Stop where you feel the stretch. Now, you might ask, you, you might ask yourself, where do I need to feel the stretch? Now, if you straighten your leg completely, like I was doing before, you're going to stretch your legs a lot, okay? Your working leg, especially your working leg. Your hamstrings, your glutes, your adductors, all your legs, all your legs and hips flexibility, or your legs and hips muscles will be under a really intense stretch. But like your, your main focus should be here on your side, okay? There's a muscle inside your body like here which is called quadratus lumbarum okay which is a really important muscle when it comes to spine movements the quadratus lumbarum like moves your spine in all directions extension flexion lateral flexion it's a really important muscle and that's why in my pancake video course for example also in my books i really suggest people work on the quadratus lumbarum if they want to achieve a better flexibility. And that's why also here in this video, I'm suggesting working on like on the quadratus lumbarum flexibility because it will help you achieve a better flexibility level, okay? That's why, that's why you should work on your lateral flexion flexibility. So you're working on your, on your quadratus lumbarum, but it's kind of difficult to feel the stretch exactly there, okay? So try to feel the stretch here by your side here, but also up here on your rib cage, on your lats, under your armpit, completely fine. All your side, okay? So you wanna focus your attention, not only on your leg, because you're going to feel your leg for sure, but you wanna feel your side, all your side lengthening, okay? So let me show you with the other leg. Same, same. Yoga block, I really wanna make sure that I'm pushing against the yoga block. I grab my foot, I use my hand, and I go. I wanna make sure, just, just if I wanna pop this, side of the floor. I wanna inflate this area of my body. I wanna really 
fuckers on that area. I want to drive my bottom shoulder forward and keep my top shoulder back. As if I wanna, as if I wanted to bring my torso on the same line of my working of my working slack. Okay, so if my leg is like this, I want to keep my torso in line with the leg. Okay, guys. So when you are in the stretching position, you should stay there for at least ten breaths. Okay. So you wanna breathe slowly in the stretch because the breathing here is really important okay it's really important it will help you achieve a deeper stretch okay so you want to stay there you want to breathe slowly okay you breathe at least 10 breaths i suggest you do 20 to 30 breaths there okay so you stay there slowly you breathe slowly for 10 20 30 breaths and you do both sides if you have a stiffer side do one set more on that side okay guys so this is how i suggest you work on your lateral flexion all right guys i hope that so far everything is clear for this exercise to work on your lateral flexion now guys i really want to make sure that you got it right okay so to increase the intensity of the stretch, you have the slider and you must slide out with your, with your foot, increasing the stretch, increasing your lateral flexion. You wanna use the yoga block to lock your body in the right spot and you also wanna use the weight on top to increase the lateral flexion effect, okay? To increase the stretch, slide out with the slider, okay? You need to remain there 10, 20, 30 breaths, okay? And do both sides, okay, guys? Now, if you give this exercise a go, please let me know in the comments down below, even if you've got any further questions, okay? Write them down. I'll be really happy to answer to your questions. If you enjoyed the content, please hit that like button. And with that said, that's all from the Flexibility Guy, Coach Alia. Have a nice stretch. See you in the next video.